Good day everyone! Today we will learn how to add Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol or DHCP role in Windows Server 2008 R2. This video is part of the Computer System Servicing Competencies in Setting Up Computer Server Tutorial Series. To start, log in into your domain server. When you have already installed your server, you can now configure it by adding roles, provided that you have already added the ADDS or Active Directory Domain Services and DNS Server roles, you can now add the DHCP role. In the Server Manager window, it will show that you have already added two roles. To add new roles, move to the upper right corner and click the Add Roles link. After clicking it, the Add Roles wizard will appear. This wizard will help you install roles in the server. For this video, we will add the DHCP server role. DHCP or Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol is a role that allows server to assign or list IP addresses to computers and other devices that are enabled as DHCP clients. It is important to note that you need to at least configure a static IP address on your server. In this part, it shows that you have one network connection. Make sure to mark it checked. However, if there's no network connection shown, it means you haven't configured the static IP address of your server. Set it up first, then go back into this configuration to continue and click Next. Next step is to specify the IPv4 DNS server settings. Input the IP address of the server and click Validate. Make sure that it would confirm as valid with a green check. Then click Next. After that, you need to specify the Win server settings. Just select Wins is not required for application on this network. The next part is to add DHCP scope. A scope is the range of possible IP addresses for a network. The DHCP server cannot distribute IP addresses to clients until a scope is created. To create a scope, simply click the Add button. Next thing to do is to name your scope. Then, enter the starting and the ending IP addresses, and just use the default subnet type. Then, the subnet mask will automatically reflect. Make sure to check the Activate This Scope. Then, set the default gateway to the IP address of your server. Then, click OK. The scope and its IP addresses range will now be added. In this part, just select 
Disable DHCP v6 stateless mode for this server, then click Next. Afterwards, you need to specify the credentials to use for authorizing the DHCP server in the ADDS. Just select the Use Current Credentials and click Next. The next part will show the summary of the configuration. Just click Install. The DHCP server will now be installed. In the Server Manager, it will now show that you have already added three roles. That includes the DHCP server. You may check on the left side of the dashboard the newly added role. That's it! You have now successfully added the DHCP role in Windows Server 2008 R2. Thank you for watching!